Our next guest is a journalist and storyteller who specializes in culture and music. With the purpose of telling the story of the voiceless or the unseen, she brings to life the beauty of art through her video producing, photography, and artistic directing skills. She has worked with Afro Feminine magazines, videographed for Two Babas Europe Tour, photographed for Singer Flo M Flavors Show in France, and even worked as an artistic director on the campaign for the recent worldwide movement Black Lives Matter. Please welcome with me. Lamia. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hi. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Yes. Thank your you your me. your introduction is a mouthful. I mean, some people just take one thing out of that and that's all they do. You seem to be dipping your feet in quite a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me why that is? Um so I don't even know. It just happened like this because I don't really like to uh, limit myself mm. um in what I do and I always had so much ideas and I feel like um, I'm this part of this new generation that knows to do much stuff. Mm. Like, um, I will be v video producing, I will be writing, I will be directing, and then I'll also try to help artists, I don't know, to grow their own um, artistic direction and stuff. So, um, it's just, I feel like this is one word, and there is so much stuff to do mm. inside it to help it and to grow it that I just don't limit myself. Right. You know, when people see you, one would think that you would like to be on screen and not behind the camera. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, not writing or, you know, probably I'm sure a lot of people have tried to cast you for movies and stuff. And um, yeah, or cast you for other video things vixens. like video yeah. and you know, mm -hmm. being in front of the, like but you chose to be behind the camera. What, what, what is, why, why did you decide to do that? So it's very true that people always wanted me in front of the camera. Like since I'm a kid, always like photographer will mm. even catch me in the street, say that, oh, you should come, we need you, we need you. But um, I don't know my purpose. I'm not shy in front of the camera. I don't mind being in front of the camera, but I like to give voice to people. I like to hear people's stories. I like to highlight people. Mm. So I feel like... I cannot do something that will be only about me, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. <laughs> yeah, so, but I like to, um, now I'm also changing my way. So you mentioned my uh, video producing and stuff, so I have my platform media. Um, until now, you couldn't really see me on the videos, but now I'm producing content where you can see me alongside mm -hmm. the artists, but it's still not the way, like, you will not see me just me. It's like I'm working alongside the artists yeah. to bring, mm. to bring, um, how to explain to this? To life, sort of. Yeah, to, to bring him to life and to just, yeah, just be alongside him, mm. not like being like, oh, this is me, the host, mm. yeah, and yeah. I represent this culture. Right, no, right. it's just like, I'll be aside you because we're here, we're sharing, we're talking, okay. and you have to know that I think, I believe in my vision, mm. and I feel like if people also see me and talk to me, um, and see me talking to the artist, that will understand that um like you can work with them yeah and that's that's a very particular way to present stuff right right, right. Like, okay well, um I've you've done, done a lot though like you in the introduction you've done with you work with tube i work with flavor mm -hmm. and all of that can you tell me um more stuff in case i haven't mentioned that you're doing and what else to expect from me because unfortunately we, want, we don't have a lot oh. of time yeah. so what else and the year's about to end as well is there anything that you know we should be looking out for in your space or something that you're already working on that you feel like people are sleeping on is there anything that you want to mention? Um, I would say, um, I don't think people are sleeping on anything. I feel I'm pretty, I'm pretty supported. Um, okay. And people are really, I'm very, I feel very blessed because everywhere I go, uh, people are very receptive to my projects and mostly the people I want to represent. What projects? Um, what are you doing in Nigeria? What projects so, are you doing? <laughs> yeah, let's start by this. So I came to Nigeria, um, I basically ran away from Paris <laughs> because Paris is on lockdown. <laughs> um, and <laughs> because I do interviews, I have this um, platform media that I'm building called Original Culture, mm. um, whose purpose is to highlight culture that are not represented the right way. Mm. Um, so yeah, like few, maybe 15 years ago, something I just realized that um, African Caribbean culture are never represented or they're represented by people that don't, doesn't belong to those cultures, so it's never the right, the right way. Mm. So I just started to do this platform um, to interview. Um, so I take music as a start for me. It's about culture, but music for me is a start of everything is the base mm. of all societies. That's why I started with music and artists. Also, it's my passion. Okay. Right. So, um, because so, you're running out of time, just like oh, to put you on the spot sorry. real quick, and so we can let you go. Um, 
if I had a million dollars for you right now, yeah. since you love to tell people's stories and you know your storyteller, what story would you, do you think you would, you're most passionate about that you would like to tell with a million dollars? Remember, it's a million dollars. You can do. And let's give us the money back when you're done. Yeah. Hey. yeah, of course, return on investment. So. A million dollars. Um, I'll just quit my job and do full time what I want to do. Like, no, I would just be... Sorry, I don't think you got my question. Oh. I didn't say, what would you do with a million? Of course, I can't tell you what I would do with a million dollars. <laughs> I'm saying, since you're a storyteller, what uh -huh. story would you like to tell with a million dollars budget, with a million dollars budget? What story do I like to tell? Um, about someone, right? Anything. Anything. It could be about big. It could be... I want to do, if I say this today, I think I would do um, a very big documentary about um, the Malians, mm. like, yeah, and also... Okay. okay, one more question. Who would play Naira Mali? Who what? No, he, documentary, <laughs> he would play No, himself. he would be oh, himself. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's the documentary, yeah. Him, all the Malians, like all this community, even back to London, mm. like the whole... Mm. The whole world, like the whole world of Malians. Mm. I think that's the thing I would do like today today. Okay. <laughs> Malians come forward, they're here. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's how we're that's gonna finish the show with the Malian Queen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much. But unfortunately that is all that we can take today. But thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can also catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus. TV Africa.